Another Walmart pie. This time it's fresh from the bakery. Hi everyone, Mike here from Mike's Dessert Decision, your source for store-bought dessert reviews. And today we've got another installment in our series on apple pies. We're looking at the apple pie from Walmart. It's from the bakery of Walmart. And this is an apple pie that you buy fresh and it's ready to eat right when you buy it. Uh, the previous pie that I tested from Walmart was actually a frozen pie. It was the great value frozen pie. And this one is a fresh one that you pick up at a Walmart Supercenter that has a bakery department. So let's see how this compares to the other fresh pies we've tried on Mike's Dessert Decision. Now before we taste the pie and look at the pie, let's go over how we score our desserts on Mike's Dessert Decision. Each dessert we review is scored on a scale of 0 to 30, and with apple pies we score them in three different categories from 0 to 10, and combine those scores to get the final score on the pie. Okay, so this pie from the bakery at Walmart is available at the Walmart Super Centers that have a bakery. And this is the family size pie. They have a smaller pie as well for less money. This one is two pounds, seven ounces, and it comes in at $5.94 retail, so pretty reasonable. And you might be wondering why I bought the family size as opposed to the smaller size. None of your business, that's why. And that's because I have a family and we're going to eat this pie together. All right, let's take a look at this pie and see how it scores on appearance. Now, when you look at the whole pie, it looks very good. I think this is one of the better looking pies I've looked at. It has a golden brown crust. It looks very homemade. I think it looks, you could easily pass even the whole pie off as homemade in my opinion with this one. And when you cut a slice out as we have here, I think it holds up just as well in the appearance department. I really think it looks good. It looks looks like something homemade, something somebody is serving to you that they just pulled out of their oven themselves. I mean, given that, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10 on appearance. An eight out of 10 on appearance. Okay, so the pie scored well on appearance. Now let's take a look at this crust and see how that scores. I'm gonna try to get just some crust and see how the texture and flavor are for this Walmart bakery pie. Get some of this back here, a little more substantial. All right, so the first thing you notice about this crust is the texture. The texture is very good. It really actually tastes like a homemade crust to me. It tastes, tastes buttery, and like I said, the texture is flaky. It's a little bit softer than I prefer, but not bad. It's not a bad texture at all. It's actually an excellent texture. And the flavor is very good. It's buttery. It tastes like a homemade pie crust. When I took the crust off of the end here, you could notice that it was a little cooked a little more, just like you would have on a homemade pie. You'd notice that. I mean, if you took the crust off the end here, it's going to have that just a little bit more well done flavor to it, which I like. And then the crust over the actual filling has just the buttery, flaky texture to it. It's overall, it's a great crust. I'm, I'm actually very impressed with it. So I'm going to give the crust as well an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 on the crust for the Walmart The Bakery pie. Okay, so far so good with this pie. I've been impressed with the appearance and the crust, and now it's time for the best part, which is tasting the filling. So we gotta have a little bit of milk, usual routine. Cleanse the palate, a little more. Okay, so now I'm gonna take some of this filling along with the crust and see how the pie tastes all together.
One more bite. All right. So this filling, it's not bad. It's not bad. The first thing I notice about it is the texture of the apples. They're undercooked in my opinion. They're a little more crisp than I personally like. So that's a detriment. However, the flavor is quite good. Now I was concerned because as you know by now, I'm not big on cinnamon in my apple pies. And this is advertised right on the box to be apple pie with cinnamon. So I was afraid that, that was gonna provide like a really strong cinnamon flavor. And there is a cinnamon flavor, but it is not strong. It's not overpowering at all. So the flavor I like, there's, as usual, there is some of this goop right here. And it's just, the goop itself is kind of bland. It's got a little bit of a cinnamon flavor and it's not even really all that sweet. I mean, it is sweet, but it's not as not nearly as sweet as some of the goops that I've tasted in the other pies I've tried. The apples, the flavor of the apples, I mentioned the texture being a little bit too firm and undercooked, but the flavor, it's a little bland. I mean, it's not, It's it doesn't taste quite as fresh. I just reviewed the the Costco apple pie, and the thing I noticed about that pie was just how fresh everything tasted. And I feel the same way about the crust on this pie. However, the apples, just not quite the same. They, they taste okay, they taste apple-y. The texture is too firm, but they're just a little bit bland. Overall, it's kind of a middle of the road filling. There are things about it that I, that I like. There are things about it that I, I'm not a big fan of, the texture mainly, and it's a little bit bland. But the flavor overall is decent. It's not a turnoff by any stretch. So I'm gonna give the filling a six out of 10. A six out of 10 on the filling. All right, so a pretty good showing for this Walmart apple pie from the bakery. Its total score is a 22 out of 30. So it's actually the second highest pie I've done just, be just behind the Costco apple pie. So, I mean, I can definitely recommend it, especially for the price. It's a good size pie. It's one of the bigger ones I've tried. It's not nearly as big as the Costco one. Nobody's are. You could fairly easily pass this off as a homemade pie, I believe. And the filling is not bad. It's not over the top good or anything, but it's not bad. And if you like a firmer apple, actually you might prefer this filling to some of the other ones I've tried. I would definitely buy it again. And I would definitely recommend it. A 22 out of 30 on the Walmart, the bakery apple pie. All right, so that wraps up this review on the bakery apple pie from Walmart. It's a great pie, I can recommend it. However, if you wanna make your own pie, I think you'll do even better. And if you do, I suggest you check out the pie plate in the description below. It's the pie plate I use and it is huge, which I find is the most important aspect of a pie plate if you're gonna make your own pie. So check that out and also go ahead and like and subscribe if you could to my channel if you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next dessert review.